breakfast in Denmark. This is the homemade rye bread, which is the Danish taco here. We have some ginger shot and we have a lot of Kodak tri which we will shoot with today. And today I plan to take you guys all around my hometown and you will see all the ocean and the islands and some cool places. All of it will be packed in this bag, which is today's sponsor, and I will get back to them later. And now it's time to show you my hometown. I'm excited for this one and I hope you enjoy it. All right, it's cold. And the first stop we have is a nice island called Fainu. So we will take the ferry out and I hope it's not too windy so you guys can hear like this shattering in the ears. We got gloves, scarves and everything. Let's go. The island is right here. <laughs> and it's so, so windy. So now we are at Fainu. We're gonna shoot with the Roliflex and I have put a lot of black and white Kodak tracks in it for this moody photos, which is so different from the photos that I usually take in Mexico. But here there's so many small, nice, cozy houses, so I'm sure we can take some cool photos. This little island is almost like a fairy tale that you read about. And right here we have the pancake house of Hans and Greta. And a fun fact is when I used to be very little, I had nightmares about Hans and Greta. So <laughs> in the summer here, they make excellent pancakes, but it's pretty empty right now. Running nose, rain. <laughs> and right now we are in Sunaho, which is a part of Fainu on the island. And this is one of the coziest places they have as well from 1722. Buildings have this, I don't know what you call it in English, but this special roof. Okay, time to find some oysters. This and it's freezing out here. We are where the oysters are. We need to walk for a little bit. We got the knife with us to open the oyster and something to handle it. So let's see if we can find one. These are empty. You also eat these, but these are empty. We haven't found anything yet and it's getting really cold, so we need to keep going. <laughs> I found it, I found it. We have the famous oyster. Yeah, claro. mm -hmm. The oyster. This is my friend's new place from 1664. They have some nice food that is very traditional that we're gonna try. Let's go. Now we're here. Hi. <laughs> gotta say hi. Good night, Casper. Gotta say hi. Oh. Did you just start with the two here on the minionet? So the classic to start with these two that ain't me, but they are salvia, citron, and honey in the last two. Oh, 
it's good to be back home and to see my friend's place and it looks amazing. And now we're gonna have a little bit of different food. Now we moved out to the greenhouse of the same restaurant called Fanu Krogård and I put the Instagram handle here so you can check it out. It's raining a little bit too much. It's difficult to hit the focus and I hope it, it gets wet like all the time. This is not normal. I mean, it's kind of normal Danish weather, but we have four seasons. This is the winter time and this is what we have to deal with. We are in the Esberg Harbor and it used to be a big harbor city with a lot of fishermen, but now it's mostly oil and energy, but there's still a lot of boats and everything that we can photograph. And if we are not trespassing any place where some fishermen will tell us you can't go more further than here. But let's see. And okay, we some billeder her. Kan vi tage billeder, hvis du bliver stående? Du bliver stående sådan her. Og I hygger jer derinde? Ja, 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 ja. Det går vi hver for om lag. Bare ud og fisk rejer. Du skal ud og fange rejer. Kan de fisk og værre tilbage i Jesper? Det er især her. Det bliver røget, det ligger på, der ligger samsmuldt andet, så cirka 24 timer, der må ikke være over, hvad hedder det? Hvis det går 20 grader inden. Tusind tak for visningen. All right, now we have some fresh fish for tonight. So funny that every city you're in smells different, and this is so like they say in Denmark that it smells like fish here, but we say it smells like money and caviar. The truth must be somewhere in between. This is the four white men that is kind of like a landmark here in, Mex here in Mexico City. <laughs> right now we're gonna go to a place called Marbeck. It has both the ocean and some forest, so um, let's check it out. This scenery reminds me of True Detective, the show. Like, it's so smoothy and gloomy. I'm excited to see how this is gonna look on black and white film. I just hope there's enough light. Before we get there, let's take this photo real quick. I have no film roll in it. All right, guys, we are here. We have wood and we have ocean. Let's see what we can do with this. But this is where I used to go on like school trips and so on, where you collect sticks or I don't know what you do here. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Now would be a good time to introduce the sponsor of this video, which is Companion Bag. This version of the bag is like for heavy traveling or like when you go on a trip. And I didn't have a bag for that. And for that, it's really, really nice. And it's big and solid. But this is not the only bag they have. They have several kinds of bag. They have big, small, medium and so on. But this is one I need for traveling purposes, which I will do a lot more next year. So you'll probably see this bag a couple of times in the future videos. And I put a link to this bag and their company in the description below. So make sure to check them out. This here is the spot. It's so quiet here. So this is Marbeck and you can see me from far away like a little dot right now. It's getting a little cold here. We're gonna go somewhere close to get something called Eppliskiva and Glück, which I will show you what is later. By the way, the one who is doing all the behind the scenes material for this video is my mom, who is here. And she's actually using a Sony A7R and we're shooting everything with the 50 millimeter 1.4. She also has a YouTube channel. It's in Danish, but she does photography as well. And she also sells something called photo styling backgrounds that she paints herself for photographers so they can have nice backdrops and put links to those in the description too.
that could be filmed like a medieval movie here like Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Right here there might be a photograph. If you look over here with this tree in the middle with all the lights surrounded by all of these other dark, dark, tall trees. This car is very photogenic. Alright, that was the last exposure for this roll. We have plenty more, but let's go and get some Ebleskewer and some warm Glück and then we will continue to one of the last spots afterwards. This is nice. Now we're here in Jatin Bell Hotel and we're having Ebleskewer and Glück. Glück is this hot red wine and spices and almonds mix. And then we have the apple skewer with sugar, flour and marmalade. This is one of those times where you would want to have color film in your rolls. Like look at all of this. We're only shooting black and white, so that's how it is. But at least you get the colors on video. Okay, try look at this. Maybe we can take a photo from the top. We got it. Okay, we have, we saw a deer. It's right over here. We need to be quiet. This is some National Geographic. My channel is going to change completely, and we're going to start tracking animals in the forest. <laughs> it's an albino deer. They're looking at us. I don't know if we can get a photo but it would be nice. I'm just gonna reload my camera. Do the deers charge you if they're not happy? I don't know. I don't know if I got it, but we saw them. Very important. I can use a little bit better, and then I can use a little bit more. I should have them here, portrait of him here. And that's what I was telling you guys. Esberg is a lot of energy right now and our signature windmills. I'm excited for these. Oh, that was the last exposure. Okay, now we're gonna continue and we're gonna go to Masken, which I will show you later, which is very special. And then we're gonna reload the camera. So we got a little bit lost, as me and my mom usually do, <laughs> but uh, I think we're on the right track to get to Mars. We found the place, but it's very muddy and there's a lot of rain and stuff, so we're gonna change from these shoes to Gummistöller, which is the Danish name of waterproof boots. <laughs> Now we're ready in a different kind of gear. We got the boots on and we're ready to go. And again, another place so, so quiet. You can hear nothing here. And this is why we brought these shoes. It's like quicksand. Ah. 
This is masking. And for those of you who don't know what masking is, which is probably most of you, this is what this place is all about. All right, so this place we're at right now called Masken is a part of the Wadden Sea. It's the largest tidal flat system in the world. It's listed by UNESCO as a world heritage along with places like Taj Mahal. And it spans from the coast of Denmark to Germany and all the way to the Netherlands. And what's unique and special about this place is its ecological traits and geological role it plays. Nowhere else in the world has the same dynamic landscape and the same multitude of habitats shaped by wind and tides. And every year 15 million birds migrate here on their way between southern and northern hemisphere. And its vast natural processes proceed largely undisturbed. And also another thing like on this trip we've seen maybe one or two people. So it's a good like exercise in trying to take some photos. I usually have people in all my photos but it's a good exercise to try to get out, rent a car and go around wherever you live to get some cool photos. This is a different scenery as I promised you guys. I wonder how waterproof these boots are. Look at this little tree all alone over here. I feel like I'm in some nature documentary. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sinking. <laughs> uh. I'm stuck. I might need some help. You can't get out. Ugh. And I'm just keeping sinking deeper and deeper. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Yes. I got one out. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you get it? That's what we do for YouTube content, you know. This is a fun video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you do, like and subscribe. And now would be a good time for my mom to do her first photograph with my new camera that she also really likes. She has never shot any analog, or she has shot plenty, but back in the day. So she's gonna do a portrait of me here, and let's see how, it gonna, how it's gonna go. <laughs> yep, it's reverse. Left is right, and right is left. <laughs> Three, two, aim. Right now we have all the sheep here and if we move a lot they will just run away. Okay. And who would think a Roliflex 2.8F could be used as a wildlife camera? Links in the description if you need one of these. <laughs> Now we're gonna go home and we're gonna make some food. This is gonna be great. Now we're back home, back in the kitchen. We're frying the fish that we ordered earlier today from the fisherman. And now we're gonna round this up. We started here, now we're ending here. I hope you enjoyed. 